Let's look at connecting SOLIDWORKS to the 3D Experience platform through PLM services. In this example, we're going to use a bushing from the cloud and insert it into this assembly and see the assembly, its drawing, and the bill of materials update automatically. The first thing I want to do is go into the SOLIDWORKS task pane and log into the 3D Experience platform. Here I enter my credentials and I'll select which collaborative space the document I'm looking for is located. What happens next is the task pane is going to populate with all the current documents in my assembly and their status with respect to being uploaded to the cloud. In this case, none of the assembly components are currently uploaded to the cloud. But that doesn't prevent me from searching for a document that is in the cloud. Here, I've got a bushing. You can see it's a physical product. If I want, I can click on this eyeball to get a preview of that document to make sure it's the one I'm looking for. That looks good to me. You can also sort by thumbnails. Then you can simply drag it into your assembly. Now this file type is a 3D XML, and that means that SOLIDWORKS is using 3D interconnect to import this data without translating it into a SOLIDWORKS format. And we'll see that when we open up this part file. Now going over to the drawing, we can see that the bushing has been added and a row has been added to the bill of materials. Now opening up this part file, we can see that there's the icon showing us that 3D Interconnect is responsible for importing this geometry. It's also showing us at the top here that it's read only. So what I want to do is similar to checking it out in PDM, I want to reserve this document so that I can make edits to it and then save it back up to the cloud. And that gives you a quick look at PLM services.